today, but I uh, have the opportunity to have a very good, very dear co a couple of co-workers in here uh, this morning. I actually read on paper the testimony of one of those co-workers, and as a result, I invited her here to share that same testimony with you all. So, me and her kid would come forward and share that with everyone. Y'all can just welcome her here. What I do for fun. I play video games with my husband. I enjoy playing the violin, although not in front of him. We enjoy watching movies. We enjoy going on vacation. We enjoy walking in the park, in the zoo, on the walk trail. What are my fears? My fears are big, tall bridges, especially when there's water on them. Flying for the first time three years ago, we went to San Francisco. I held on tight to his hands. When we took off, when we landed, when we were in turbulence, I said, is this supposed to happen? Grab him hard, on to his hand. And I told anybody who would listen, it was my first time flying. Uh, the streets of San Francisco, you're either looking straight up or straight down. Right. The, uh, I have had some sadness. Uh, I have a 31-year-old son, and I have a 32-year-old daughter named Christina, and I have a 6-year-old grandson, and his name is Liam. I call him my little bucket roots. She, uh, about five years ago, her health started to decline. It's every week, year, and every month. I remember talking on the phone with her, pacing around the dining room table, the living room, the kitchen. With every doctor visit, there was always something wrong with her. She developed and every kind of cancer there was, every kind of ailment, every kind of disease. Her husband Matt asked, is there a list of something you don't have? She had a cancer doctor, she has a cancer doctor that came and met with her in Springfield, he was from Tulsa. She developed stage four cancer in all of her organs. She had leukemia. Parkinson's, tumors in her brain. I mean, she had every, the list didn't go on. So she uh, was 60 pounds. Uh, she was using a cane, a walker. She uh, had a uh, tumor in her womb. She had to get a hysterectomy. She had 20 girls. No one knew she had. She could not um, take aspirin. She could not receive chemo. She could not even take an aspirin or cold medicine because it would stop her heart. She could not use the restroom by herself. They had to help her. Every time they tried to get any kind of liquid out of her, her heart would stop. So she had a limit how much she had to drink. But I tell you, she can eat like a horse. <laughs> Boy, she can slam those buffets down like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. Well, it got to the point where she's planning her own funeral. She's making final arrangements. She made a will. So my grandson can go to the godfather, Karen. She, uh, her wish was to see her grandson go to kindergarten. And I remember talking with her each time. She would, she would laugh. She would be positive. Um, my coworker Tina made her a card 
with some money so her and her family could have some fun. She was watching movies with her husband and Farrah Mills was having. I mean, she was laughing and positive and myself, and I didn't let her know this, I was a nervous wreck. So there is faith. I asked God, why are you taking her so soon? Please take me, don't, please heal her, let her live. And so something happened one day. She said she felt the sensation of having to use the restroom. She said to her husband, I think I need to go pee. He said, well then go pee. So that's something positive. So the big day was the next day. She had some tests to run with her doctor. She was in that parking lot that morning. She told me she had a one-on-one -on -one with God. She said, my life is in your hands. Wherever you want me to go, I will go. So she went in to the doctor's office and did her tests. She waited anxiously in the waiting room, waiting for the results. The doctors asked her to come into the office, their office. Then they asked her to leave. Then they asked her to come back. And they had a look on their face. She didn't know if this was the end. She didn't know what to make of it. Well, without telling or giving away the story, I anxiously awaited for this call. And I remember looking out the window of the house. And she said, guess what they said? And I said, you have no cancer. She says, you are right. She said, the doctors asked for a pain room. She said, she did not need it. She ran out of there as fast as she could, so she can tell. Her husband, the great news, and me second. It's like a, it's like God took his hand over her and healed her. She does have a small tumor in her brain. She has uh, rheumatoid arthritis. She has emphysema. But God had a different path for her. Every morning to this day, I pray every morning and I say, thank you, God and Jesus, for curing my daughter, Christina Harvey, of her illness so she can live a long life with her son, Liam, her husband, Matt, her stepson, Shane, her brother, Brian, and her and her family. Thank you, God and Jesus, for not taking her away from us. In God and Jesus' name I pray. Amen. There is joy. My daughter got to see her grandson go to kindergarten. She uh, graduated a college degree, uh, medical coding. She is, uh, works. There's that. Uh, sorry. Uh, she works in a hospital, uh, HR assistant. She was in a house. Yes, it is. And there's just so much joy to be able to go see my daughter, knowing that her life was not cut short, and that her, my little buckaroo, she could see him grow up. There, uh, about a month ago, we took them to Fantastic Caverns, and they have these trams that you face each other. And we're going into this cavern, and this couple was talking to him, noticing he had a little boo boo on his knee. And after a while, she was talking with him, he asked her, do you have tea? And she goes, oh, sweetie, I'm sorry, I don't. And he just looked at her strangely. And then the gentleman asked, uh, was talking to him, and Liam goes, well, do you have tea? And he says, yes, I have tea. So in conclusion, I joined my postmaster so I can be, enhance my leadership, and writing skills, but most of all, I wanted to write this is my story so that perhaps you all can hear it. Amen. Amen.